Visibility. Many people want it, but very few people get it. Have you ever noticed that it has becoming more and more of a visibility focused industry, visibility focused company? If you are feeling that I am good at what I do, but I want to have more visibility, then in this video, I'm going to share with you the free principles of visibility and how to achieve it. Principle number one is that visibility is a currency to be earned. If you think about currency and not one form of currency, which is the most common currency that people talk about is money, money. And what is money? Money is a certificate of service rendered. When you render a service, you get paid in dollars. The same thing, the same principle is true with visibility. Visibility is earned. It cannot be taken. It cannot be expected. And then therefore it given to you. It does not appear with nothing in given return for it. It is like currency. It is a form of currency. So if you desire to have more visibility, it's really important to understand, well, what am I earning visibility for? Just like building financial wealth. What am I earning wealth for? What am I going to do in exchange for it? How am I going to become the person that deserves and earns that currency? Because I imagine that if you want visibility, you don't just want visibility for today. You want visibility tomorrow. You want visibility next year and you want visibility in terms of the long term growth of your growth of your career so that you can have the impact you want to have. So this is one of the most important principles to really understand if money is a byproduct of value created visibility. Similarly, is a byproduct of service rendered. What service are you going to provide? And under identifying what is the purpose of my life and career direction and what service I'm going to render that I can be the best at rendering that service. Now it's time to understand I need to become that person who can render that service, not just for today, but consistently in the long run. How do I become that person who can render that type of service? And that is the first principle of visibility. Principle number two. Visibility is a gift from others that is a privilege to receive. It is a privilege, not a right. So this is understanding how do I earn that visibility? And it is also understandable who do I want to earn that visibility from? Right? Oftentimes I work with executives in my mentorship program and many executives that I work with tell me I want to be more visible. I want to be more visible in my company. I want to be more visible in my industry. And those may sound like good goals. But then my question to them is, well, visible in front of who? In front of who? Because visibility is a gift given by others, just like how money earned is a gift given by others. If you if someone gives you money, they don't just give you money for nothing. They've given you money because you've given them something valuable. So then if you want money from a particular somebody and money is always earned by somebody from somebody, if you want to earn somebody's money that they have, then it's important to give them something that they want, something that they desire, something that is a value for fair exchange. Visibility is very similar. Who to whom would you like to be visible and how might you be able to give them something valuable in return for visibility? And this is really another important part to understand is that this is a privilege and not a right. So visibility may be earned once we become the person who can earn it. But since it is a privilege, it can be taken away. It is not guaranteed for life. So it is important to have the consistency and persistency to continuously earn the visibility in the long term. So value exchange, right? Financial wealth building is a long term goal. Visibility building that is a form of wealth is also a long term goal, especially if you desire to be visible, not just for this year, but for next year and continuously as well. The persistency and consistency in our actions is important. The persistency is important because the journey can sometimes be long. Consistency is important because the journey can sometimes be hard. So having both of those and becoming the person who can take those consistent actions at giving something of value in return to the person we want to be visible in front of so that they might give us that gift out of privilege. Principle number three, visibility is fortified through purposeful work. Right? If you have always noticed that anybody can say they want to become visible, but few receive it. Well, why is that? Especially if there are individuals, many individuals who are quite ambitious. They've worked hard to get all the credentials. They've worked hard to be good at what they do. They've worked hard to be reliable, disciplined and focused intellectually and also mentally and also through their work. But why is it that sometimes these individuals who are good at what they do and hardworking don't always become visible? Why? It is because it is a byproduct of purposeful work. Right. Have you ever felt like you're standing there and you are 
wanting to be visible, you know that you have something good to offer. You know that you have the mental intellect. You know that you have the value to bring. But it feels like you're in this room full of people who are just walking past you, executives, higher ups who are walking past you, and you kind of feel like, am I invisible? Do, I, do, I, do they not notice I'm there? Right? So this is really so important that it's not just simply about focusing on working hard. Hard work don't, doesn't always give the return, wouldn't you say? So it's not about working hard, it's about working purposefully. Your purpose. Why are you here to work? What are you working towards? Why is that important to you? And how might that be important to others? What is the most valuable contribution you can make in your highest values? This is the sum of purposeful work. And visibility is fortified through understanding purposeful work. And this requires a tremendous amount of self-awareness. It also might be comprised of a lot of unprogramming, the things that might have been taught to you, unlearning the habits that have been ingrained in you, but it is the next level of thinking, it's the next level of operating, and it is the next level of being. If you are an ambitious career professional and you know you have something important to offer and you've worked really hard up until now, grown your career up until now, but you want to break into that next level, the executive level, the senior executive level, and you realize that what you need is visibility to have your buy-in for your ideas, to have more influence in your company and more impact in your industry. If that's you and you want some guidance on how do I become more visible, how do I have a greater impact, and how do I do that in ways that are authentic to me, then I invite you to work with me. Below this video, the very first link that you can click on is an opportunity for you to speak with one of my trusted career advisors. And this is just a conversation to explore if this is the right fit for you and if we can truly help you with what we're looking for. And if we can, then we'll invite you in and every single week I'm going to provide you the training on how can you level up, how can you navigate this terrain, how can you understand the dynamics of career growth and becoming the person we need to become to be more visible. And every week I'm going to hold you by the hand and show you how, the action steps how, and persistency and consistency, what are the actions to take. If that's you and you're serious about developing that goal for yourself, then click the link below and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.